Hi, Gary Hoover here. I wanted to tell you about my upcoming class called The Art of Enterprise. It's a course in entrepreneurial thinking. I think we need entrepreneurial thinking everywhere in our society, in nonprofit organizations, for-profit companies, great big companies, certainly in startups. And so I spend a lot of time thinking and learning and teaching and preaching entrepreneurial thinking. That's what this class is about. Who are the right people to take this class? I've taught this class three times before, the basic ideas, and they have people that come to it at a range from age of 18 to 60. Some have already run, uh, started a business, some have already sold businesses, some are running a businesses. Even a few people already have MBAs, they still come to this class. It includes people who are just dreaming about starting a business, engineers at the big semiconductor and computer companies who are thinking about starting a business, homemakers who have an idea for business, people who want to uh, study entrepreneurship and teach it and learn how it works, and really see what it's like inside the mind of an entrepreneur and learn to think like an entrepreneur. If you want to see some testimonials of what people think about the class, I've had about 70 students. They seem to love it and get a lot and say it changes their whole view of the world. You can go to hooversworld.com. What do we cover in the class? Our first focus is on how we learn. We learn in a number of different ways, books and all that. We also learn by, for example, observation. So our whole class goes out into the field and we watch people and we learn from them and we do our own studies to see what is it they need, what is it they want, what is it they're heading, where are they heading. We, uh, we look at the context of stuff around us. We look at our economic context, uh, how the economy works and where our enterprise or idea might fit into it. We look at our geographical context, what's going on all over Texas, and the U.S. and the world. Uh, we talk about trends, how things change through time, our historical context, the big trends that really matter. We learn how to be great researchers. We learn how to be an expert on a company in uh, a lot fewer hours than it takes most people. That's just one of our uh, four-hour sessions. We have ten four-hour sessions on all these subjects. Um, through that research and through that thinking, we begin to come up with new ideas. We begin to think innovatively. I keep a list of over 180 ideas for new businesses. I've kept that list since I was like 12 years old. So how do you come up with ideas? And if you're going to think entrepreneurially, you're going to challenge the common wisdom. You're going to say, well, I know everybody believes that, but I see it a little differently. And, and you'll do that with confidence. But that confidence to challenge conventional wisdom comes from doing that research and doing that study and doing that thinking. Once you arrive there, you begin to see opportunities everywhere. You see opportunities everywhere you look. So then the challenge becomes, how do you sort it out? How do you pick between the best ideas? Not necessarily the ones that are most likely to work so much as the ones that are most likely to work for you. The ones where you have a heart and a passion that relates to it and where your skills and orientations can, can rise to the challenge. You usually don't start with all the skills you need, but you'll see ideas everywhere. And then as you move your idea through the process, how do you finance it entrepreneurially? How do you market entrepreneurially? How do you manage and lead in an entrepreneurial style? Two of Austin's best entrepreneurs, Brad Hurd at Bizarre Voice and John Mackey at Whole Foods, absolutely believe in the importance of cult culture and a whole style of your organization and I agree with them and I think that's what makes those two companies great. You may be asking who is this guy, why can he teach and everything, you can find out more about me at hooversworld.com and all that. I've done uh, four startups, uh, one was uh, the first big bookstore chain, it was called Bookstop, Barnes & Noble bought it, was their entry into the business. Another was a business information company, I started a company called The Reference Press, it morphed into a company called Hoovers, hoovers.com, you can look them up online, it went public and now owned by Dun & Bradstreet. I started studying business when I was 12 years old by reaching, reading Fortune magazine, if you can believe that. Kind of crazy, I know. But I love business. I love enterprise, nonprofits as well. And so bringing all that together and, and a lifetime of, of learning, but my learning never stops. And I'd love for you to join me for 10 weeks, uh, 40 hours, four hours every Wednesday night at Tech Ranch and, and learn how to learn and learn how to be a better learner and how to think entrepreneurially. The first class is free. And I give it twice. So you can come and see if it's right for you. And bring your friends, everybody you know, because it's fun just to come and we'll spend like four hours together. Uh, and, and it's also at Tech Ranch in North Austin uh, on Runberg, um, Wednesday night, June 15th at 530. And again, Saturday afternoon, June 18th at 1 p.m. So just drop in on one of those classes, see what you think. If you're interested, the whole course is $1,250. Um, you can learn all, more about all this at hooversworld.com. And I really look forward to uh, uh, seeing you, and thanks for your time.